Good morning, guys. Derek Hatchley here. I want to talk to you about doing what's popular versus doing what you should do. Sometimes those two will mash, but a lot of times they don't mash. Because what's popular or what people think you should do or their opinions of what you should be doing don't always line up with what you know you should be doing. I'll give you a couple examples right off the bat. Don't you love how when I walk, everything behind me goes like this? I rewatch these and I go, oh, I gotta sit down more. So, an example of that is that, um, let's say you start a eating program, right? You're gonna get healthy and you wanna change the way you feel about yourself. So you cut out carbs, you cut out processed foods, you cut out alcohols, you cut out that kind of stuff, right? Well, you go out with your friends and they start giving you a hard time. Like, well, why are you doing that? That's dumb. Why? Just have a drink. Just have some fries. Just have this. Just, And you cave to peer pressure because it's easier to conform and to bend than it is to hold your course sometimes, especially in the early stages. In the early stages, it's really easy to give in to people because it's uncomfortable to change, right? And a lot of times our subconscious is looking for ways to get that fixed, to get that gratification, to fit in, right? A mentor of mine, Mark J, says, he goes, the first thing you do when you walk into a room full of people is do what? You try to blend in. You try to fit in. It's no different no matter who your friends are or who your family is. Often it's harder when it's friends or family because there's a higher level of social pressure. So the challenge is, is, um, is to stay the course, to be able to be strong and sure of yourself that that's what you want to do. And a lot of times it's when it's easy to cave, it's because you're doing things that, again, you think other people want you to do or social pressure um, has, has you conforming to do. Sometimes you're really happy at 200 pounds and you really don't want to lose weight, but everybody else is losing weight, everybody else is healthier, everybody's going to the gym, that's the, the group you're running in, whatever. And so the social pressure is then to lose weight. So when you're out with friends or you're out with family and they say, just have this, just have that, it's so much easier to cave in because you're not really doing what you want to do anyway, right? It's the same in business. It's the same in your family. It's the same in your being. It's the same in all areas. That when you aren't really doing what you know you should be doing, it's easy to cave. It's easy to conform. It's easy to bend to social pressure. So the challenge is, from, from me to you today, is to not cave to social pressure. To not do what's maybe popular, but to do what's right for you. And again, I'm going to tell you about the Master Keys course because for me, it was a really strong way to lock myself into some habits, into some behaviors, and into a, a, a road that was going to get me where I wanted to go. And it was much easier because I had a mastermind. I had two, 300, 400, 500 people going through the course with me, all of them trying to do something more popular. I mean, less popular. All of them trying to get where they really wanted to go in life and had been struggling at. And it kind of goes back to yesterday too, doesn't it? A lot of times doing what you know you need to do is hard. It's not easy. It's a challenge. <clears throat> so I encourage you to do two things. One, watch for my link for the Master Keys Mastermind Alliance. And I can't stress to you how much this changed my life and how much it's changed countless other people's lives. It's a six month course. It's like going back to school for you, for your subconscious, for your life, for the life you wanna create, for the life you know you deserve and for the life you know you can have, right? So what's, what's a couple hours a week when you can change your life for good? and lock in behaviors. Okay, so challenge number one, watch for my link. Challenge number two, figure out where you're doing things that are popular and not really what you wanna be doing. Figure out where you've been caving to social pressure and not 
being true to your true self. Okay. So that's my, that's my thought for today. Go sweat, go move that body, go stimulate the brain, go move the fluid around the body, go wake up the, the everything, go energize you. Okay. Love, light, peace. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday and, uh, take care. All right. Bye.